Hello folks, welcome to another video for FC24 here today. Another tactics tip for you, I guess. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the best way to replicate the John Stones role in FC24. Now it isn't completely foolproof as we'll talk about in the game, but it is the closest way that you can get to in order to recreate this role. And we're gonna talk about that in this video. So with that being said, roll the intro and let's get cracking. So welcome in everyone, my name's Ash or Brahma18 and if you find this video helpful make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notifications every time I upload. We're talking all things tactic on this channel and if you want to see more and get great rewards such as exclusive tactics videos, scouting packages and lots of real players from around the world. I am a qualified football scout as some of you will know. We've got Discord server access, Fantasy League access, the tactics package and a whole lot more. Check out my Patreon because that is the best way to support the channel and also the best way to get these great perks as well. Now, with that being said, it's time to talk about the John Stones role. Now, as I briefly mentioned in the intro, it's not completely foolproof. There is one slight issue with it, and we will talk about that, but it is the best way to replicate it within the confines of the gameplay. So first things first, what you're gonna to wanna to do, you've got this general 4-3-3 holding system in this case, and what we're looking to do is we're actually gonna to want to move stones up to the ram position now a lot of you are going to be alarmed by this you're going to be thinking whoa 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 this is getting a bit crazy don't worry we'll explain all and it will work out very very nicely now in order to do that you may notice there's a little bit of an issue here we can't quite fit him in into the ram position what you will need to do is you will need to tinker about with the positioning of the midfielders so the Bruiner, you're just going to want to move him over the side to kind of right central midfield if possible far as you can get him Rodri we can move him down a little bit into CDM and then Alvarez can come over into uh, left central midfield as well and then once you've done that you should be able to move him up so if we'll find a little bit of a white space here there we go we can now move him to ramp after you've done this you're going to want to flick into the player instructions and this is where we're going to really set the tone now the first things first what we're going to want is we are going to want comeback on defense that's the most important because naturally that's going to get him tracking back. However, what you're going to find is because the game realizes there's a there's a gaping hole here, there's a missing player, it's going to do one thing. It's going to bring him back in defense when you lose the ball. Because of the fact that the midfielders around him are only on central midfield, you can't actually set them to track back. So in this case, it will assign stones as that ram, and it's important that he's a ram and not a cam, to drop back into the defense so you're going to be able to replicate him doing that which is really really good the second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to mess with his positioning freedom and change this to free roam now obviously as a ram he's generally going to be in the more advanced areas and that's not where you want him you want him as more of a bridge between the defense and the midfield you don't want him kind of popping up next to Haaland on the field what free roam is going to do is it's going to alleviate that it makes it so that they drop into the space a lot more. They drop into deeper pockets. They roam around the pitch. And as a result, they are getting into those advanced areas as much. So this is going to be the best way to replicate his role in the deeper areas. As opposed to if you had it on stick to position, he would just be almost up front with Haaland a lot. He'd be further forward than the likes of De Bruyne and Alvarez. And that just wouldn't really work, would it? Now, before we talk about the one slight issue and we go into the gameplay in order to show this, I want to quickly say, because I know someone's going to comment this and it is really going to rattle me. And if anyone does comment this, I am going to hide them from the channel. If anyone says that just set him into a central midfielder and put drop between the defenders, that will work. No, that is the complete opposite of what we want him to do. That will push them into central midfield out of possession and drop them into defense when you're in possession, which is the exact opposite of what you're looking for from Stone. So if anyone says that, I am muting them from the channel. With regards to the slight hiccup though, and something that I just haven't been able to fix, unfortunately, as I say, it is in the confines of the gameplay. It's so what will happen is it will actually push the right back, which is Walker in this case, into center back, and John Stones will withdraw into right back. Now, this is one that is really frustrating. I've tried setting him at cam as well in order to alleviate this. Just doesn't work, unfortunately. As a result, the only way to closely replicate it is to have him at ram, and then he'll end up dropping back into right back. So that is one slight issue with it that we just can't fix, but it is the closest way you're gonna be able to recreate it in this game. So with that being said, I hope it helps all of you out. We're just about ready to round it off there. If you found it helpful, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell to get notifications every time I upload. Don't forget to check out my Patreon, lots of fantastic perks on there, 
as I said, exclusive tactics videos, scouting package, tactics package, all that good stuff. Do go and check it out. The best way to support the channel. I want to thank you to my amazing patrons for keeping this channel going. With that being said, I'm going to finish it off there. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. And until the next video, I will see you soon.